Hello and namaste, my friends. It's Miss Kerry. We're going to start again today by reading a story called Letty Teddy, A Mindful Journey. Now we're thinking about all the different feelings that Medi Teddy and his friends experience throughout the story. So ask yourself right now, how am I feeling today? Hmm, how am I feeling today? <sighs> when you know how you're feeling, put your hands like this and take a deep breath in and let it go. Remember, when you're feeling any kind of way, you can practice yoga and taking deep breaths. You can also ask for a drink of water, ask for a snack, ask for a big hug, or anything else that will help you feel your best. So, let's sit tall and sing our hello song together. Hands together. Here we go. Slap, clap, slap, clap. Hello, hello, hello and namaste. 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 All right, let's read our story about Medi Teddy and his mindful yoga journey. Now, you'll see Medi Teddy doing lots of different yoga poses throughout the story. We're going to listen to the story first, and then at the end, we'll look at all of these different poses that Medi Teddy did, and we'll practice them together. Let's get started. Move my chair a little bit here. All right. Medi Teddy woke up from his long winter hibernation. It was the first day of spring. Medi Teddy couldn't wait to go outside to explore, but Mama Teddy and Papa Teddy were still sleeping in their bed. I'll just go for a short walk and be back before they wake up. Medi thought. He tiptoed out the front door. Medi paused in the warm morning sun. What a beautiful day. Mama says the first thing I should do each day is greet the sun, Medi said. Ah. Oh. He took a deep breath and stood straight and tall. Then he set off to enjoy the spring day. Medi hadn't walked very far when he ran into his friend, Dog. Hi there, said Medi. Beautiful day for a walk, isn't it? It certainly is, said Dog, excitedly running ahead. Slow down, Dog, Medi called after him. He bent down to smell some violets at, on the path. If you go too fast, You'll miss the good things in life. Dog stopped to smell the flowers too. Good idea, Medi, he said. As Medi made his way through the forest, he came upon his friend, Beaver. She was busy working on her new lodge. I'm trying to put these twigs on top, said Beaver, but I can't reach. Maybe I can help, said Medi. Medi reached as far as he could, stretching high on one leg. He was able to place the last sticks on top. Thank you, Medi, said Beaver. Medi had walked a long way when he saw a Frog sitting on a log. Hello, Frog, said Medi. What are you doing? I'm listening to the breeze blowing by, said Frog. Whoosh. Maybe if I sit like Frog, I can hear the breeze too, thought Medi. Together, the two friends sat in silence. When Medi opened his eyes, he felt relaxed and quiet. Okay. 
As Nettie walked through the forest, he paused to appreciate the budding trees and flowers. Nettie watched a butterfly fluttering by. And the colors and the clouds drifting slowly across the sky. Nettie didn't want to miss a thing. He laid on his back and watched the clouds. Soon, Medi came upon his friend Hedgehog, who was sitting glumly on a stump. Why the long face? asked Medi. Hedgehog was taking his own hike through the woods, but he had made a wrong turn and now he was lost. Do you remember anything on your walk that might help you find your way home? asked Medi. Hedgehog shook his head. Medi could see his friend was really worried. Let me show you what to do when I forget something, said Medi. He kneeled on the ground with his arms stretched out in front of him. Take a deep breath and focus on what you're trying to remember. Hedgehog copied Medi's pose. Then they both took a deep breath through their noses and let it out slowly. Oh, I do remember something, Hedgehog said excitedly. I stopped to have lunch at a waterfall. He took out his map from his backpack and studied it with Medi. There it is, said Medi, finding the waterfall on the map. And there's your house just beyond. When you find the waterfall, you'll be almost home. Medi lunged, then pointed Hedgehog in the right direction. Medi realized it was time for him to go home too. As he made his way back, he passed Fox's den and stopped in to say hello. What are you up to? Medi asked Fox. I've been making fresh strawberry jam all day, but now I have to move all these jars into my pantry, said Fox. Here, let me help, said Mitty, taking the jar and passing it to Fox. Together, the two friends worked until the job was done. Mitty continued on his journey and came upon a snake resting on a sunny rock. Hello, Mitty, said the snake. Where are you off to? Medi explained that he was on his way home. I have to get back so my parents don't miss me when they wake up. I'm going in that direction, said Snake. Why don't I join you? The two friends made their way down the rocky path together. Snake and Medi came upon a fallen tree that was blocking the path. It was too big for Medi to climb over. Snake slithered easily underneath. Follow me, Medi, said Snake. You can do it. Medi lay down on his stomach and wiggled under the tree. You're almost there, said Snake, encouragingly. Medi wiggled a little more, and then he was through. As he made his way home, Medi thought about the wonderful things he had seen on his journey. The birds, the butterflies, the flowers, and the trees. And he thought about his many friends throughout the forest and how each one helped him appreciate this new spring day. Medi felt peaceful. When Medi arrived home, Mama and Papa were still asleep in their bed. Medi couldn't wait any longer. Mama, Papa, wake up, said Medi. It's spring! He was excited. And that's the end of our story. We saw Medi do all of these different poses, so let's do them together. Medi helped his friends in so many different ways. Some of his friends were worried. Some of his friends needed help with their projects. And Medi knew just what to do. First, he greeted the sun. And then he saw his friend dog and he said, stop and smell the flowers.
done. He sat down and listened to the wind calmly with his friend, the frog. Close your eyes and see if you can hear the wind. Does it make you feel like calm? And then he opened his eyes and went to help his friend, the beaver. He stood on one foot and reached to the sky and helped her put her home together. Switch your legs. <sighs> then he sat down for another moment of peace and watched the butterflies. Put your feet together and flap your butterfly wings. <sighs> Imagine this butterfly is flying all around you. How beautiful would that be? Very <sighs> good. Then our friend Maddie went and helped his friend, <clears throat> the hedgehog who was lost. So he put one foot forward and one foot back. And he said, this way, you have to go home this way to the waterfall. Hedgehog was so worried and Betty helped him find his way home. Take a big stretch. Ah, good. Then he helped his friend, the fox. He took a big open step and he reached from one shelf to the other to help the fox put his jam away. Reach forward, reach back. Reach forward, reach back. Reach forward and reach back. <sighs> then Maddie found his friend oh, and came to his knees and stretched out and said, this is what I do when I'm trying to remember something. I take a deep breath and I let it go. And it helps me think of what I was trying to remember. Many found his friend the snake, and they went onto their bellies, and they slithered under the tree. Can you hiss like a snake? Then finally, Medi stopped to watch the clouds go by. He laid on his back, grabbed his knees, and looked at the clouds floating by. <sighs> Medi was on his way back home, so excited that it was spring. He saw his mama and papa sleeping. And what did he do? So excited. He said, it's spring. Put your hands together and bring them down to your heart. <sighs> so many feelings that Nettie and his friends felt on their mindful journey. Now it's time for us to take our journey home and say goodbye and namaste. Hands together. Here we go. Left, stop. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye and namaste. 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 Goodbye, everyone.